It is Roundtable Sunday, Florida Maquis Patreon channel. If you are here, you are at the $15 level. At this level, we get away from the training and we start to speak about the psychological operations we can identify in the mainstream media. One of those that has been very relevant to things that we talk about at the YouTube channel is this argument here. Now, for every person that sides with one or sides with the other, you can go to YouTube and you can find memes and images and links, and we could spend hours and hours and hours debating the um, merits and the disadvantages of both. However, something's going on at Fox News, and it's starting to become apparent that there is a disconnect, a disjoint between what they are alleging they're promoting and what's actually being promoted. All right, here's an article from Fox that talks about why the U.S. government should step in and keep this private business competitive and solvent in the market. This is Fox. You would think they would be the capitalist ones, the right-wing ones, the supporters of <clears throat> the president. Yet, we see this article about U.S. government intervention in the private markets in order to pick winners and losers. Now, any one article can say any one thing, so we're not going to say that this by itself is an indicator of anything. But let's look at this story. Okay, so NBC this private news organization has a show, Saturday Night Live, that uh, is not a giant fan of the current leadership and does parodies and sketches. And apparently now there is a desire on the behalf of the West Wing to put this before a court once again involving government in the private sector. I guess he's just not used to this, or he doesn't like it, or he... This guy has used the word fair more than anybody I have, any leader for sure, I've ever heard. And business is not fair. Capitalism is not fair. All is fair in love and war. And this guy was hip deep in bed with NBC with The Apprentice for I don't know how long. He's been in Manhattan his entire life, nearly five decades that his uh, feigned outrage here is really incredibly disingenuous. But once again, advocating for socialism, government involving itself in the private sector in order to level the playing field or ensure fairness. That's two examples from Fox News, not CNN. This was kind of one of those things that I thought was pretty surreal it used to be, back in 2008, repeal Obamacare. But then all of a sudden it got changed to repeal and replace Obamacare. Meaning that, okay, we're all fine now with the idea of government-run health care. We're fine with that now. We're perfectly okay with the government stepping in and making itself a presence and a controlling factor in health care. That is now perfectly fine with the left and the right. They just want their version of it. This isn't somebody saying that a president demands Congress to repeal health care reform and return things back to the free market society, which we have heard them promote time in memoriam. That's not what they're saying. They're saying that they just want their version of socialism. So this is three. Three different articles. This one's a video about the right wing wanting government to step in to fix perceived slights or fix our economy in some way or another. That's three examples. Ready for number four? All of a sudden, the president, his wife, I should say, the wife of the president, has a problem with, quote-unquote, media opportunism. 
Last I checked, media organizations were in business to do one thing, one thing only, make money. That's capitalism, isn't it? And whatever goes, goes. There's no rules of fairness. If we say ABC negative things about your wife, that we have to go find the spouse of a person you don't like and say ABC negative things about them in order to ensure quote unquote fairness. When did uh, the idea of government stepping into the media become something the right wing in this country promoted? And you'll see this more and more that when capitalism, when the free market society all of a sudden doesn't work for the right, when people who have tried to advocate for socialism for years start to take those principles and turn them against the right, they're going to be all sorts of crying and whining and pissing and moaning about wanting socialist-based intervention in everything from the healthcare economy to uh, courts getting involved in what NBC can or can't say about the president. In this case, Melania apparently is upset about the media. Wasn't all that upset about it during the election. And this is completely insane coming from a bikini model. Uh, media, a bikini model <clears throat> is complaining about media opportunism. Think about that for a minute. Someone who made her... Well, you know what? I'm not even going to... I'm not even... You guys can do your own imaginative work there. I'm not going to put it into words. Nobody even mentioned this during the election when this guy, who's supposedly all sorts of capitalist, speaking of our current leader, did the thing with Carrier in Indianapolis, where they decided, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go make this new government policy now, and I'm going to pick winners and losers. You see, there was a policy in place, and there were rules in place, and all the air conditioner companies all had to play by the same one. And, apparently, Carrier made some bad decisions under those rules. But no, here comes super government uh, Donald Trump to uh, fix it for them. Socialism. From Fox. Not in word, but in deed. And if that's not psychological operations, I don't know what is. This is what happens when you start to get out of your thinking brain into your feeling brain. And we see this over and over and over again, that before people even click on a site, they already have it in their mind what they are going to hear and what they are going to believe. Even though the articles themselves point to something completely the opposite. So I'll let you do that own research for yourself, but it's uh, breathtaking. Absolutely breathtaking, and I think next year is going to be even more indicative of this government becoming more and more involved in fairness and fair play. Giant air quotes on both of those. And making everything even for everybody, which would be perfectly um, predictable from a man who spent the vast majority of his life in Manhattan around liberals, around this idea. It's just odd that he thinks that somehow that jives with capitalist free market. Caveat emptor. But of course it's because it applies to him. Anyone else? Total gloves are off. Especially during the primary. If you guys remember the primary, he was out there running his mouth and calling names to I don't know how many different Republicans while trying to be a Republican at the same time. And I don't remember him uh, worrying about that being unfair. It was a different time, of course. People were in a different place mentally, but... We will leave that there. Roundtable Sunday. I'm going to go ahead and do the drawing real quick and get the name up. For sure, I haven't forgotten today. Sorry, there's a couple of occasions in the past where I have had to draw two names in one day. So, it's just a lot to do the two videos. This one and the one at YouTube. Sometimes I do two at YouTube. And this one as well. So, it uh, 
escapes me. So thank you for your patience. I very much appreciate it. Like, share, subscribe. We'll see you next time.